start my video again. So we can actually say that this is where the story picks up again. We, if you've been skipping, we uh, maxed out our destruction, found some legendary spells, and got killed by a really, really big dragon. It was less than ideal. You should try the venison. It's delicious. Oh, I should, eh? Blah! Talk to the Arl. Divine smile on you, friend. I don't know how to far start Hearthfire. I've got enough money, I could probably work on my house. We need to wipe them out before things get worse. Where's the Jarl at? I demand an audience. Cardlek White Main is a better place now. For is there any place better than Sovereign Guard? May the guards watch over your back, my friend. <coughs> I need a dragon. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. What are you, deaf and stupid? It's the only way to stop the dragons. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city, with the threat of war on my doorstep? Yeah. I'll do it. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? See, so what do you have to lose? It is my destiny. I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Well, good. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I don't know. It seems like a nice place. Uh, we have to find Aldo. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. <laughs> of course you do. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. Sorry. So you want me to kill everyone? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Grey Beards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. That's worth a shot. That's not actually a terrible idea. I Dragonborn. Okay, cool. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. So let's go Turk to Arnger. Shit. <laughs> Ten bucks, he says, I'm old and I don't like stuff. One of my bed, one of my bed. Why are you a vampire now? Back in my day, we didn't have all these damn vampires. Anyway, hi, Hrothgar, please. I heard someone shouting. Like, not like dragon shouting, like actually, ah, help me! Where's Arnger at? No fucking. I don't remember doing that before. Sounds like he's out in the field. Maybe he's out there shouting. Maybe it's brunch with Partha next time. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he's actually out here shouting. Where the hell is he? Where is this telling me to go?
Why aren't you sending me to Arngir? Oh, there we go. Aldwin? We heard the Dragon Ren shout from here. You defeated him? Mm, no. I feared as much. I thought it was him. Ah, he's living in Sovngarde. After your battle, I need to capture Drake. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the Voice. Aww, they got a hell of a view up here, aren't you? Well, I'll I'll capture the dragon, but I still need you your help. You understand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Look, we just need to borrow the castle. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Gal's help. Both sides respect you. Come Martin on, Axe help me out. the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Booyah! Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. Well, he seems to be taking it rather well. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. <coughs> okay. Are you ready to host the Peace Council? To the oh, okay. parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to town. Wow. Oh, there he is. There's a guy over there shouting, too. <laughs> Neat. It's weird. That weird halo around spells and particle effects only shows up when I'm up on the top of the world. Wow. I he saves the best seat in the house for himself. I guess I have to walk if I ever want to talk to Parthenax again. Well, we know where Wolfric is. He's the guy from the very beginning of the game. Guy who killed the previous Emperor, King, whatever thing. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm a dwarf. Oh, there were vampires attacking the city, so there's corpses in various places. Oh, this guy. Who is this guy? Was he... Oh, he was the beggar. Oh, he deserves better than that. Hmm. Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses You're are? You're a strange ducky. That sucks. I gave him a coin and he gave me all he ever had. So That's kinda sweet. You cast a few specs. Am I supposed to be impressed? Nobody gives a damn anymore. It's just like, ah, just, just, just leave him alone. I wonder if he enjoyed eating all that uh, turf, though. That mage from the college. Oh, damn it, Wolfric, where are you? Oh, there he is. Hey, you. No, I'm not going to speak to him. they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I want you to quit making metaphors. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. Something about murdering your predecessor. Weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. He's next. Politics be damned. All do the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation. Yeah, you it? want to stay here and look like a Even bitch, or you want to be progressive? To talk sense in the face of such a threat. Okay, so you'll come. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim. He's not with us. He's saying. against us. Okay, well that was easy. I like having a hundred speechcraft. 
Makes life easy. Map. Way over here. Suppose you'd enchant my sword. I would consider it, but I am busy. If you must venture southwest. Oxkeg? Hmm. Not sure if I've been there or not. I don't think we've talked to Tullius. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raymond has a large selection. Who just called me a fairy? What are you guys doing? I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. Keep your guard up. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. <laughs> Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruff. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General... It's only reasonable. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, <laughs> you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. Well, then if let Ulfric him die. If move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another I'm just gonna with usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you I'll just wait till he's done. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. You guys realize I'm just sitting here listening to you, right? You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. <laughs> Idiots. Sir. How you doing? I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. Um, you tried to murder me. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the lady. I'm going to eat your soul. Greybeards. The Greybeards. What do those old... Peace Why, Council. There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against him. Truce. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. Well, you're stupid. My job is to quell this rebellion. And I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Anyway, just get your ass to the peace uh, treaty. You may have a point. <laughs> it's getting difficult to even move troops. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Then you'll come. Yes, yes, fine. Huzzah! Come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Why can I still talk? I say, why can I still talk to him? Go talk to RNG again. Yeah, most of the uh, story quests the seem to be fetching things. <laughs> and back to the throat of the world. Gotta imagine there's some guy out there who doesn't fast travel. Poor bastard. are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. Oh, come on, I've been here. To host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. I will get them to agree. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. That's two words. And so it has proved. But regret. 
Take okay. your seat at the council huh? table. So, let us see arm gear, is it? You, find among these you know what we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? I'm you silent. are not invited here. Oh. You too. You're not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually. Since we were the ones that put the dragon board... <laughs> He's back there. I'm just going to let her talk. Where are you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse or grudge. The matter at hand is urgent. All doing must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that all poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Ah, uh, very well. You may enter. I am tired of arguing and want to take a nap. Wow, when did we get this place? You guys have been holding out on me. Galmore! You got the bear. And the Imperials, and the Queen. Well, I get to sit at the head. I'm important. I'll even take off my helmet in a show of good faith. Um, do I have one of my crowns? Sit! <laughs> you guys... Do you, any, anybody, I kind of feel like a jack-off here. Is anyone else going to sit down? Why do, now that everyone <laughs> is here, please take your seats so we can begin. <sighs> you assholes. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit of... You insult us by bringing her what? to this negotiation. Oh. Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. I have every right to be at this meeting. Ah, the Thalmor. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. You're all stupid. Just sit down, you idiot. I think that I would sit down at the same table with that foul more bitch. Either she walks or I. But uh, I don't like the Thalmor, so she can piss off. Very well, Alfred. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Don't let the door hit you in the ass. Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Would you sit your ass down? We represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. <laughs> that's not nice. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able We're to We're here resist. to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you, <sighs> Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down I really hope I don't have to join either of these jack-offs. Yes. Let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Close enough. Carl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiation? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. 
That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Ellison. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Well, now you guys ask for something, I said and I then he can't. bitches about it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markard at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Actually, I yes, do. that'd be entirely out of character. Shut up! Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that- You two aren't allowed to talk anymore. This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. I'd just assume burn it to the ground. Uh, Riften is terrible. Riften is terrible. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern fleet. I hate both cities. Trade them. I don't give a damn. Board has spoken, Markarth will be out. He listens. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good I, name. What? But it seems you intend you, to favor Ulfric. You, you get. You just said but you wanted Riften. Now that this is not a negotiation at Did, all. Uh, you were happy two seconds ago. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with it. Please drink. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Now as good a time as any to stand up and kill everyone in the room. And this time there won't be any dragon to save you. Can't access my spells. The Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Doesn't everyone looking at me? At the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the Dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. The hell is that? You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Thought you weren't allowed to talk anymore. Lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery. At All the blood spilled in this ward is on your head. So, Dragonborn. What? What do you say? Uh. Yeah, whatever. Move along you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. 
Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Ripton. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to them. What about you, Alyssa? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. Mm -hmm. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you... What with the war and slavery and whatnot? Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, guys. Yay! We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Thalgruf. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do Let's my part. Here. How Just you doing? Say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains: how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? How the hell should I know? Ah, I believe I can help you. Talk to the nerd. I anticipate. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. Oh, well, good. An unguessed troll of lost lord. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Odin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. Mm -hmm. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why? He's not compelled to. Oh, gotcha. But dragons are prideful by nature and okay. loath to refuse a challenge. Mm -hmm. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over all I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Okie dokie. So what's his ah, name? Indeed. I'm no master of voice like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Esper knows how to kiss ass. Would, uh, the winged snow hunter, as I read it. As soon as I get back to White Rock, I'll get my men ready. That could have gone worse. No, it's a one more thing. We know about her. Okay. What? The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. Yeah. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. This Until is sudden. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Uh, oh, okay, well, don't let the door hit you in the ass. You're either with us or against us. Why? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. No, no, Superman not home. You can go piss up a rope, Delphine. Parthenax is a cool guy, and I ain't killing him. Where's Angie at? Oh, yeah, on Earth. You have a good weekend, buddy. I'm heading out. I'll see you. Uh, see you later. Still hot. <laughs>